Ah. There. What is wrong with the microphone? Yeah. Okay. That was odd. Ah, well, I guess it was still taking time to actually turn itself on. So, uh, anyway, uh, I knew there's something wrong. I don't have my jacket on. Ugh. Of course, as I complain about the cold, then it suddenly will get too hot, and it's just going to be the same thing over and over again. Uh, at least if, uh, you know, I'm living in Florida, it's generally always going to be warm to hot, but electricity is basically uh, free <laughs> down there. It's like practically no cost. So, you know, I'm just going to have the AC turned on all the time. So I guess that's a form of increased uh, electricity cost, but it should still be the same that I'm paying right now here in New York City anyway, like what, $74 a month, something like that. So anyway, uh, in the last video, I mentioned uh, a new miner project that I will not be investing in. Uh, it's called Gold Grinder, and let's see, what did I write? It was Yada Crypto, right? Yeah, Yada Crypto actually covered this on his channel. So between all these YouTubers that I've subscribed to, I guess there'll just be infinite amounts of content like every day. But I kind of really just need my days off, you know? <laughs> So, but that's good. I mean, that mean, basically means I can basically grow this channel to infinity. So, you know, as cryptocurrencies and DeFi gets more popular, if there's like, you know, 100 million people out there in the world, I can easily grow this channel to like 1 to 2 million. Because there's only 1 to 2% of the world's population anyway. So, <coughs> excuse me. Mm. So, anyway, I managed to finally uh, listen to uh, Greg Manorino's video because I was actually playing King of Crabs. I was trying to level up some of my crap so I can get more free passive gold in that game. And, you know, I heard his whole thing, so it turns out that the bonds are actually getting closing in on 3% pretty fast. So, we are, yeah, 2 point, yeah, he said 2.91, this is 2.9. Uh, crypto is actually doing pretty well today despite this, finally. So now it's basically, a, it comes back up, why, why is this site still looking like weird and shit? Great. It doesn't like... Yeah, this site doesn't like zooming in anymore. What the fuck? Okay, well, now it's fixed. What the... I have to zoom in and out. So anyway, Bitcoin's back at 41k, and everything else is doing, like, kind of okay. Alright? So, yeah, Polygon's at 143. So this is fantastic. Oh, yeah, what's AVAX at? 7844. Alright, perfect. And, of course, that's why we would like to see a bunch of green. So overall, things are looking pretty, pretty good. So, alright. So... I think Titano Forks and Clean Sphere are kind of correcting to their actual real intrinsic value so far, right? Or maybe they're still actually everything just had a pretty nasty correction, so now it's got to be the consolidation, capitulation, and the flatlining, and then it'll slowly go up. Like we want to see a flatline. I haven't said this in a long time, actually. We want to see a flatline and then slowly go to the upside, slowly, because that's how you know that's going to go back up. Assuming the fundamentals still hold up, of course. So, all right, so this is just a minor project. I really don't know anything else beyond that, but uh, this is actually a pretty good sign, I think. Oh, okay. So they, they only have three links active, Twitter, Discord, and BSC scan. The, these other things don't uh, exi uh, exist just yet. We do have a roadmap here. Stealth launch, token launch, candidate. Native launch, banner ads, white pair, adapt, website launch, uh, merch store, certic audit, da, 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 da. I don't know. Why would you need a certic audit for, well, I guess it would go pretty quick. It'd be really cheap because obviously their code would be like, I mean, what is their code even? Uh, wow, this project already has $285,000. That's pretty hilarious. Uh... Okay, so this minor project is actually looks different from the others. So it's definitely not a fork. Yeah, see, these things actually have a bunch of different things here. So, okay, so these are actually completely different codes. So that's very interesting. That's very, very interesting. So the primary reason why I'm not actually in this project is because the differential is actually 7%. I actually put all the vast majority of my Binance miner uh, funds into baked beans instead because that's like the safest project and obviously they have like what 34,000 whatever uh, Let me check something here. Yeah, so they have like 34,000 Binance coins. It's so just like a stupid amount of money uh, in TVL 
So I'm willing to take, because this is the lesson I had to learn, right, back in the Metaverse Pro days. I'm willing to take a lower uh, return, rate of return, which really isn't that much of a hit, right, in exchange for more stability and safety, because that's really what matters, right? Because if you're making this much money, but then it dies in like a week, I mean, the, 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 then you're better off actually just investing in the lower APR project that's still going because you're still making money, right? Because you lose when the project dies or the price goes down so much that essentially the project dies, right? This is kind of like what's happening with a lot of Tomb Forks, which is why I kind of just don't invest in Tomb Forks anymore, even if they show up on Yield Wolf. I, I think Dante Finance is going to be the last one that I do, right? Because... Because we're actually going to cover a Tomb Fork today, which is the high finance, because that was showed up on the Yield Wolf Discord. But nowadays, I just don't care about Tomb Forks. They do, they always go down, right? They pay shit when they go down, and minor projects are just superior, right? In fact, minor projects in a lot of cases outperform Titano style projects, right? So it's still good for me to be in Sphere, because obviously I got in on the original original whitelist, but you know, if I were just starting out, I know someone actually asked me about that to make a video about starting out, but I mean, I can't really do that, that kind of video because things just change too much, right? But if I were just starting out, I'd actually start doing minor projects, right? I would do minor projects. That actually would be the best one, right? Specifically the safe ones. Binance Dollar, Lucky Cat, that's doing pretty well. Cardano, Lucky Cat, that's actually growing, surprisingly. Uh, so being on the black new Cardano side blockchain is obviously helping. Um, baked beans, of course, on Binance Coin, uh, and really any of the AVAX uh, minor projects that I, that I have on my playlist. The exception might be the Fish Farm Money project because that's been draining a lot of AVAX uh, so far. So I kind of need to take a look. If it drops below. 3,000 will be a yellow flag, and if it drops below 2,500 to 2,000 AVAX, right? Uh, I'm definitely going to take it off the playlist. And at that point, I'm not even going to care about the supposed penalty that it has. I'm just going to keep pulling out AVAX from it. I'm not going to compound it anymore. Um, so. so anyway, uh, this is obviously... Uh, so anyway, you can check out Gold Grinder. It's obvious that they use a very different set of code, because we already took a look at the contract here. And they have a different looking setup. So if anything, maybe they forked uh, the farmhouse, the video that I did on that yesterday. And actually the devs, or I guess the guy who runs Twitter or the girl, uh, was actually nice and actually like retweeted me and stuff and followed me. So I followed them back on Twitter. So yeah, so it's looking pretty good. And again, like there's always like, I don't know what the hell's wrong with, uh, you know, the, the these things here. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm kind of curious, whatever, uh, happened to, I mean, technically I'm still invested in Caesar, but, I mean, well, they didn't give me any recognition that much. I mean, they were pretty nice people, though. Uh, the finance could keep their thing. Uh, I think, I don't know what this guy did, so... Alright, yeah, I don't, I'm not invested in this project. Actually, I kind of need to clean this up, actually. Wait, what? Wait, there's two, Sphere DeFi? Didn't I already, wait, there's a Nerus Sphere? Oh, no, that's SimSol, oh, that's what, because SimSol is, yeah. Um, right, that guy's a special case. Congruent, well, I'm still kind of stuck in that. Um, I really should keep following Titanal, but I'm not invested in that anymore. Also, I kind of don't actually like their behavior, and their and their community is actually getting very angry at Sphere. Uh, I know these guys got banned. All right, they could just stay there. Uh, they, uh, oh yeah, definitely we're gonna keep this guy. It, uh, very good, very good. Mm. I'm still following Stone Toss Comics. I mean, he does make funny, good cartoons. Ah, yeah, he'll, he'll, he can keep my thing. I actually need to keep this because a lot of people like to impersonate Tech Dev. Uh, very good, good, good. Yeah, it's kind of funny to go back in history and look at my history here. Uh, that's funny, his name is Hans Gruber. Eh, oh well. 
Wait, they took away his, uh, they took away his thing here, I think. Or maybe he never had the blue check mark. I don't actually really remember. Okay. The, the, I mean, yeah. I'm actually look, trying to look for, we'll stop at Michelle Malkin because I actually was following some people and like, they kind of just like, for some reason, like a lot of the people that I follow, yeah, I see Nicola is back here. So what the hell is wrong with, so I guess Twitter was just having some kind of weird seizure or something. Uh, yeah, let me just see. Yeah, there's Michelle Malkin. Okay. I don't know. There, well, I guess Twitter was just having a heart attack that day. Hmm. Yeah. Well, anyway, you could just, I don't know, for some, for many of you, you could just check my followers or whatever. But yeah, it's like, I mean, we don't really like or retweet our stuff at each other anymore. But, you know, it's like a network. So it's like, you know, hey, you know, a lot of really powerful people, you know, follow Johnson Chan. So he's probably somebody I should probably follow, which he should, actually. All right. So anyway, this project, I think, is like two days old. Oh, I didn't actually know they had this thing. Oh, yeah. So they have a nice little built-in calculator for you here. So you're also going to be very early, but especially by the time you see this video, within 24 hours, I guess, of this project. And when this thing launched, I think yesterday, it was at 280 Binance Coin. Now it's at 281. So I'm kind of curious to see if this can actually outlast Binance Lucky Cat. Uh, because right now, Binance Lucky Cat seems to be doing okay at 724 Binance Coin. Uh, I'm still not going to add it back to the playlist until I'm kind of sure that it can sustain itself. Because Binance Lucky Cat, like this project, has a 7% differential. All right. Hmm. The difference, though, is Gold Grinder uses a completely different code. And, of course, uh, it was already covered by Yada Crypto. So, obviously, Yada Crypto might have you know his own methodology for finding projects. So that could actually be a factor too. So maybe he knows something that I don't because I kind of just don't really care to check. And I really don't really have much of incentive because I already have so many minor projects already. And all I need is just one that's actually good. And we already know what that is, baked bean. So I already just leave it in baked beans. Uh, but with that being said, you know, you could probably dip your toes on this too because this is pretty juicy, 9% daily returns. I think this is the highest daily APR out of all the other minor projects out there. So you can keep compounding and compounding and compounding and earning 9% a day instead of like 7 or 8% a day, right? Because, you know, I assume like every other minor project, when you compound, there's no tax, all right? Because that's the idea. You want to encourage people to, you know, do their thing. I think I already, yeah, I already clicked that. Uh, I mean, I guess they'll say... Uh, well, whatever, not growing on your daily, how do you reinvest more than you sell? You're all over good, okay. How more, more than that. you can't see how more I want to do the, do the check. Uh, all right, Shelly, where are they? Where are the fees? All, okay, so the 2% fee is just on everything, uh, except compounds, of course. The goal, the goal decrease when you sell, and the goal will not decrease. You make a new run higher level, well, not when you sell it. The goal is less efficient over time, you sell too much. Uh, okay, people who sell gold too much get punished and get lower and lower rewards. It will last a long time the higher the TVO is. So, according to this, they have some kind of anti well thing. Uh, what is this? Blacklisted, no forcing people to reinvest. Blacklisted, no forcing people to reinvest six days and sell one day a week. Nothing can be changed. Okay, kind of to build this work as well. Use I guess higher than So they're doing the same thing. Yeah, we saw this with the, I think the fish farm money um, contract thing. Okay. For 24 hours, it's probably one year to increase. Okay, so they say they have some kind of anti wealth thing, but you know, uh, I'm like a 50 50 here. I'm like 50 50. I can't even see. But I know forcing people to react 60 and so on, really nothing can be changed. Huh. I don't know. Let me actually see something. So, so what? Ruby Mine actually does blacklisting? They really should not be doing that. I don't, know, I don't really see anything about this here. 
Also, that would be very scammy to do something like that. Uh, we spawned around their minor section. They have a minor section? Moonarc.app. Who's, who's these guys? Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, I definitely would not be using this site because obviously a lot of shit scam sites are going to be uh, listed here, probably. Uh, it's a dev launch in last year. DeFi tools. Da -da -da -da. You clearly have powerful data allowing you to manage all your miners from a single page. Buy, compound, withdraw, check your balances. Oh, this is actually... Something like this would actually be useful for someone like me. I have a bunch of windows open. But... But yeah, I, I would just... Whatever. Yeah, also, it doesn't say anything about a blacklist function in any of these facts. I mean, if you're going to blacklist someone, you kind of want to say that. We do not guarantee 9% it is up to 9%. The goal is illegal in certain countries. Please cover Oh, that's funny, is it? Hmm. I don't know. What is this? Yeah. Besides, other people actually, like, 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 we've seen, like we've seen the video yesterday on this video, you know, we saw some people just invest and they all they do is just withdraw constantly. So it's like, and I see the contract draining like crazy too. So I'm not entirely sure if, you know, that, 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 uh, you know, this thing is enforced. All right. So keep that in mind too. Gold Grinder supposedly punishes you too if you keep uh, withdrawing every day. Me, I think think i'm not entirely sure yet i'm not entirely sure if i'm getting some kind of penalty because it looks like my rewards seem pretty stable but i do compound twice a day uh and then i withdraw before i go to bed so i don't know uh i, I think the values are consistent uh but with that being said my fish farm money is actually lagging behind a uh, spooky miner right uh, in the same time period. So that's something I'm going to be observing because they both pay 8% a day. Uh, but the difference is Spooky Mar was just, I invested in that yesterday. Actually, I, I added a little more money than that. So I don't know. Maybe, no, I think maybe it is correct. I don't know. I'll keep, I'll keep watching it. So it's up to you to decide how you want to do this. But, you know, I don't think it's a good, I mean, I guess you could just withdraw all the time if you want multiple times a day if you're, you know, paranoid. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. Besides, they don't even mention it here on the front page too. So I guess they do that on purpose because if they really did have a, a daily APR punishment system, they actually would not tell you about it because they'll just, because you just won't be able to tell if you're getting penalized or not. And they'll just keep withdrawing, withdrawing and withdrawing. And then you essentially can't withdraw that much, assuming that's actually working. So great. Now I'm getting... Now I'm really curious. I kind of want to actually check the code now. So we're going to do sub. Okay. So they're not using sub here. So how about div? Okay, that's not working. I don't know. Does that even work? Jeez. Uh, claimed gold last higher time. Where, what are we at? 18 minutes and 40 seconds. Well, so much for a short video. Send referral gold. Claim gold. Uh, okay, this is the last. So they use the last time you've hired someone. Sell gold. All right, let's see. What do you got for us here? There's the dev value. Last hire time is the block stamp. Payable owner. Payable gold value minus fee, right, which is already declared up here. So that's dev fee. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything here about the penalty here. Plus equals has gold. So, God, I used to know what that means. Market gold equals market gold plus has gold. Okay, that's what it means. So basically you're just adding has gold to the market gold. So basically this is when you, why would you do that if you're selling gold? That doesn't make sense. Payable owner, tra I mean, I assume it obviously works, but I just don't really feel like fucking doing this shit. To prevent sniping. Oh, this is probably uh, when they were launching or something. Buy gold. 
Calculate gold by... Well, that means it's just someone putting in money. Gold rewards to BNB. Okay, calculate trade. Return... Fuck me. Function calculate gold sell. So which calls this function. So it's basically the kind of same as everything else. I don't know. I remain skeptical. All right, let's not drag this out. So it's up to you. And apparently getting in early does seem to have an effect too. Like you can buy more miners for cheaper when you're early. And then later on it gets more expensive. So it's kind of like a... I don't know how that actually works. It's kind of like interesting. And of course this thing is an estimate. So the actual amount may be slightly different. Oh, okay. It says tell you right there. Anyway, let's not make this any longer than it has to. Check out goldgrinder.io if you are interested. For now, I will pass on this because I already have player minor projects. Um, so, and on top of that, you know, I want to see like a higher tax, right? 7% I think is just too much. So, even though I know I would probably do very well just getting in this early. So, uh, but I don't know, it's up to you, all right? You know, I put this stuff out there, you know, I have my own preferences and I'm very strict, all right? Because I want to keep money, right? Because again, I need to learn, because I learned my lesson from Metaverse Pro, so I'd rather do things safer and take less reward. I don't want to, because I'm already taking a lot of risk just being in cryptocurrencies in the first place. So my job is to extract income while minimizing my risk. So, you know, but whatever. You do you do what you want, and um, I mean, I don't know. Like, if, if their thing actually works, like every other project supposedly claims, I mean, I, uh, uh, yeah, I was confused with the other claim button. Uh, well, then I guess it should be pretty sustainable, I guess, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video. Let's grow the channel. I think we might actually be at 1400 or I know we're very close to it. I, I haven't bothered checking since last night. So anyway, thank you to all the new people that are, uh, piling into this channel and, um, we're just getting started. So, uh. Yeah, remember, if we can grow this channel really big, I'm going to definitely hold, like, a nice little convention, you know, we'll call it, well, I'll just, it's not going to be called Johnson Con, but it'll be some kind of convention, all right, and then eventually we'll have a get-together, and then I think maybe I would look into, you know, bringing on some paid guests, so, you know, your ticket money is going to be used to pay these people, all right, or something like that. I don't know how it works, but I can worry about it later. Anyway, thanks for watching, uh, see you next video, which will be... Uh, so I think Leonidas Finance is out, because Murdoch D5 did a video on it a couple days ago, so we'll check into that. If not, I'll check out Back Finance. I'm basically just going to keep going through projects until it's actually live. So, yeah. And see you in a bit. Thanks.